Okay, so today I'm going to talk about science fair. I don't normally do videos like this, uh, you probably know that. So I'm just going to talk, no script, just going off the top. What did I notice at the science fair? Well, you know, I wasn't really too happy. Um, so, Google. Google's a problem with science fair. A lot of kids just, I mean, did the same exact project. They probably Googled it. I'm sure they did. Uh, you know, that's not really what you want to do. I guess the first question we need to talk about is, what is the purpose of the science fair? Why do we do it? Maybe the reason is to get kids interested in science. Um, I'm not sure it does it the way it's doing right now. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> what... I think the other big thing is this problem with cookie cutter projects. Even if you come up with your own project, it's stuck in this pattern of what's my independent variable, what's my dependent variable, what's my hypothesis, what's my materials, and I'm going to read that material list to you, and it is a pencil. For this project, you need a pencil, a paper, a ruler, a thumbtack, another thumbtack, a green thumbtack, a blue thumbtack another ruler. I need my parents to drive me to the park. It goes on. It's like <clears throat> we need to take up a lot of space on my poster, so I'm going to put a lot of materials because that, that's important. You know, materials are important. I'm not getting, I'm not saying they're, they're not, but they're not the most important thing. Um, I, I, it's kind of bothersome. <clears throat> the other part, you know, the structure of my hypothesis was, my hypothesis was correct. I don't really think students understand a hypothesis. Uh, so I, I would say, just done, don't do that. I would like to change the science fair. One, make it not a competition. Make it a, a celebration of science. Everyone get to share their ideas and we can do things. <clears throat> the competition part is a problem. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that they get judges that evaluate projects on different things. Some may focus on presentation, some may focus on creativity, and not be aware that that's actually just a Googled idea. Some may focus on how much data they collect and not be aware that maybe the parents took the data. So it, it's really, it's not really doing what it should do. Um, <clears throat> the dog just came out. Let's see, what else should you change? about the science fair. How about this? How about we call it Mythbuster Fair? And students pick something cool and they say at the end, busted, plausible, confirmed. I mean, I think if it's a lot like hypothesis testing, but they're not structured in the same way. I think if, if they didn't have a grade associated with this in a competition, they'd be more free to choose cool ideas and just explore things. You know, go measure something and find out what happened. That's what I really want to see. Um, other science fair tips. Uh, it is clear to an expert, I consider myself a science expert, it's clear what students are interested in their project and, and did it and which ones are just, you know, I did this over the weekend or, or someone else did it, maybe my parents did it, and I'm just trying to get the points here. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of cool things you could do. I think the way it's going right now, it's it needs some work. Let's say that. Of course I'm going to write about this. But I thought I'd make a video too. Okay, there's some thoughts on science fair.